Welcome to Mrs. Gray's Geometry Videos. Today we are going to look at Lesson 7.3 and we are going to prove that triangles are similar. Remember last semester we did those long, arduous proofs where we had to prove that triangles are congruent? Well, these are going to be so much easier, you're going to be really happy. So the first way, it's called the Angle-Angle Similarity Postulate. And instead of writing out all of those words, all we have to do is use these two letters, AA and then the similar symbol. And we use this to show that the two triangles are similar. All we have to do is show that we have two sets of corresponding angles that are congruent. So if A is congruent to D and B is congruent to E, then that's enough to prove that these triangles are similar. So again, putting this together, if A is congruent to D and B is congruent to E, then ABC or triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF. Let's put some numbers in because for a lot of you that will just make more sense. So looking at these same triangles, if I were to put in the actual degree measurements, I can clearly see that A is congruent to D, they're both 40 degrees, B is congruent to E, they're both 60 degrees, that is enough to prove that these triangles are similar and we would use the two letters AA and then the similar um, symbol. The second way to prove that triangles are similar, it's called the side angle side similarity theorem and we're going to use the letters SAS and then the similar symbol and instead of showing that the sides are congruent, what we need to do is prove that they have the same scale factor. And um, putting this in a statement, if AB over DE, which again, I'm just going to take AB and then the segment DE and set it up as a fraction and reduce that, and I'm going to take segment BC and EF and reduce that, if these both have the same ratio or scale factor, then that's enough to prove that these triangles are similar. And then, of course, I can't forget about the angles. I need to have that the included angle in between the two sides or sets of corresponding sides that are proportional, then that's enough to show that they are similar. So triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF. And let's put some numbers in because, again, that will make a lot more sense to a lot of you is I need to show that the two sets of corresponding sides that are in red and in blue have the same scale factor and that B or angle B and angle E are congruent. So putting numbers in instead of those letters, if 4, I would put that right here, and 8 have the same scale factor as these two sides in blue, which would be 3 and 6, and I've set these up as a ratio. Um, if they have the same scale factor, so if I reduce this, it would be 4 over 8 is 1 half, 3 over 6 is 1 half, and B and E are clearly congruent. They're both 50 degrees, and I've reduced that here, then that's enough to show that these two triangles are similar. So triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF by the side angle side similarity theorem. Now the last way is this called the side 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 similarity theorem. And we're going to use the three letters SSS and of course the similar, oh my family just walked in, they just brought me nachos. You'll have to ignore the noise. Anyway, so we're going to prove that all three sets of corresponding sides have the same scale factor. So let's put some numbers in and replace this segment information. So looking at the red sides, because those um, correspond with each other, setting them up, instead of AB, I'm going to put 4. Instead of DE, I'm going to put 8. So I've set this up as a fraction. And then BC is 3. EF is 6. I've set this up as a fraction and then the 5, those with the 10, and I'm showing that right here. Well, if we reduce those, they would all 
simplify to one half. Four over eight is one half, three over six is one half, five over 10 is one half. They all have the same scale factor and we can also call it the same ratio. Well, that's enough to prove that triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF. I'm gonna go get some nachos.